Reverend Jesse Jackson is upset that the nation was upset that there was a shooter in the Capitol building yesterday. Uh, that shooter was shot. A woman bystander was injured by shrapnel, but the larger disaster or even a tragedy was averted. Reverend Jackson tweeted, though, and I quote, in Chicago, 42 people shot last week, 290 shot and 40 homicides this month, 778 people shot and 142 homicides this year. No media, no public outrage. You're right, Reverend Jackson. It's shameful the way the media ignores the gun violence, the tragedy in Chicago. They just brush it off. Oh, Chicago, that's a violent city. And in other news, the weather. Why is this, sir? Why isn't the media asking, why is Chicago so violent? Why aren't we the people, media, people, Republicans, Democrats, forcing the media to investigate the cause? Chicago has some of the strictest gun control laws in the country, that's why. That's what leads to gun violence. The good guys aren't able to get their hands on guns to defend themselves because they follow the law. And the law makes it nearly impossible to carry a gun. The bad guys never intended to follow the law at all. They don't give a rat's tail about the law. They'll get their hands on a gun no matter what. And what ends up happening is criminals are armed and loaded and innocent law-abiding citizens empty-handed and defenseless. What ends up happening is 42 people shot in one week, 290 people shot in a month, 778 people shot in Chicago this year. Why aren't you talking about the gun control enacted by liberal politicians in Chicago that puts people, black people specifically, at risk, Reverend Jackson? Why aren't you encouraging Black Lives Matter to protest the stringent gun laws that fosters this dangerous environment? Don't you care about people's lives more than politics? Guns are used 80 times more often to protect a life than to take one. Women, we use guns to defend ourselves against sexual abuse over 200,000 times a year. FBI statistics show that states with concealed carry laws reduce the rates of murders, rapes, aggravated assaults, and robberies. Why aren't you talking about that, Reverend Jackson? That's my final point. You can always reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. We'll be back tomorrow for an all-new episode of Tipping Point. And until then, have a great night.